Hey Raven fam, doing a little one-off today. It's called Moonglow Bay. Looks like we're gonna do some fishing. Maybe keep our village afloat. I honestly have no clue. This game is on Game Pass. I figured I would give it a shot. But I love you guys. I love you CJ. I love you AJ. And yeah, let's go do some fishing on Moonglow Bay. Alright, so we've got our Captain Betty. And then we've got our sidekick, Taylor. I think that's his name. I could have read it wrong. I tell you, sometimes you just don't pay attention. Oh, this is like all pixelated. Alright, so let's go out the door. <laughs> Betty, come on, you guppy. Grab the line. Mm -hmm. Fishing is easier than it looks, I promise. What are you afraid of? Nothing except for the water, the monsters, the curse. Oh, nice. You know what the locals say. They're just stories. Every one of them, I promise. Here, let me show you the basics. Follow along with me. First, stand in a decent fishing spot, like the edge of the boat, right here. Then select the fish and hook icon to begin. Alright, so first off, I just want to say this. I'm loving this so far. It's got like the Minecraft graphics, right? But it's got fishing. So I love fishing, just so you know. I used to fish all the time when I was younger. Then I got married and the fishing kind of went away. Um, I haven't been fishing in a while, actually. But this game, hopefully, is going to scratch that itch. Now to cast a line, fish will be more cautious if you cast near your boat or the shore. The further you cast, the more likely uh, something will bite. Mm. Press and hold the... I guess that's the B button. Is it? No, it's the A. Sorry. Press the A button to cast your line. The longer you hold, the greater the distance. Alright, so let's see how far we can cast this bad boy. Not bad, not bad. Perfect, now be patient. Keep the lure still and wait for something to bite. Mm -hmm. The moment the lure dips under, press and hold right trigger to hook the fish. Be quick or it might escape. Once hooked, continue holding RT to reel it in. Alright, so we're going to get a bite. Let's change the view on. Oh, nice. You can actually change the view a little bit. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Ah, uh, never mind. You'll catch the next one. I know it. Hold R t right trigger to reel in the empty line. Was it supposed to do that? All right. Let's try this again. I got a feeling we're going to get it this time. Go on. Take it. There we go. All right. So last time, what is going on? Oh, uh, never mind. You'll catch the next one. I know it. Hold R right trigger to reel in the empty line. All right. Is, are we supposed to not be catching fish on this game? Because I'm confused. It's telling me to hold the right trigger, which I have done flawlessly. Yet they keep getting away. Ah, uh, never mind. You'll catch the next one. I know it. Hold right trigger to reel in the empty line. All right. So this, this is not making any sense because I'm not catching anything. It's not catching anything, and it makes no sense to me. All right, it basically told me to hold the right trigger, which I've done, and yet I've caught nothing. Three fish have gotten away. Not this time, buddy. Not this time. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos. Come on, buddy. I need you in the boat. I need you in the boat. Come on now. You're getting in the boat, whether you like it or not, buddy. There we go. A grady bellyfish. It's kind of cute looking if you look at it. All the little pixelated graphics. Must have taken all of 10 minutes to make this fish. Oh, we're definitely going to keep it. It's our first fish. Why wouldn't we catch it? All right, see? Easy when you get the hang. Give it another go, this time without my help. Oh, this is actually pretty sweet. All right, I wonder if we can actually move the boat. That would be awesome. All right, here we go. So when they start going, you just basically have to go the opposite direction. This is so much like real fishing. It's, it's awesome. I'm trying to get him in. He is fighting hard. This is going to be a big one. Hopefully this is a big catfish. That would be awesome. Or a big largemouth bass. I don't think so, buddy. You're not getting away. I know you want to, but it's not happening. Getting in the boat, gonna make some fillets out of you. Unless you're a big one, then I might actually just put you on the wall. Potentially. Only time will tell. I'll tell you one thing, this thing does not want to come in the boat. He is fighting with all he's got. I give him that. You are... I don't think it's that much bigger than the last one. 32.813 kilograms. Well, I don't like to brag, but it's pretty big. 
All right, what else you got to say, Taylor? Fantastic, and a different species. Well, need a variety to cook and sell for our, our new business. Oh, so we're, we're actually fishing for our business. Is this a big shark? Oh, this isn't good. Is it like a squid, a big octopus? What is that? Was that a real fish or was that like a submarine? What is that all about? It's the monster, the curse. Come to torment us, ah! It's just a well. Huh? This town's ridiculous superstitions. No wonder the fishing trade is ruined. So true, so true, Taylor. Oh. But the bay is full of amazing creatures, all waiting to be discovered. We'll find them and share them with the real world, or with the world. Oh, yes we are. Oh, on that note, here, to celebrate our new adventure, please be a new reel. <laughs> hey, what happened to No More Surprises? Feels like a book. I'll open it tomorrow night once you're back. <sighs> you still want this, right? We could always go back to Ontario. Of course, moving here, it's your dream. But I'm also what you want. What's your dream? <laughs> My dream hasn't changed in 40 years. To spend every day with you. Mm. Then I'll be right here, the whole journey by your side. Welcome home. Oh, so we're actually a couple. That makes sense. I thought when it said partner, I meant like partner, like a business partner. So do we actually go to town, I wonder, and actually meet some of the town folk? Only time's going to tell us, my kind friends. Only time will tell. Hopefully, three years later. Oh, God, he died. Why do these stories always go this way in these games? Why can't we have a happy ending? Seriously. For once. Well, we've got our dog to keep us comfort. I can always tell with the sad music. The music's actually pretty good on this game as well. I know we're not that far into it yet, but... Hopefully we're still able to save our business. I wonder if we have to find a new mate. A new lover. Or somebody's knocking at the door. I said no soliciting. Oh, it's River Fisher. Hey, Mom. Oh, it's Mom. Oh, wow. River? Why aren't you in Quebec? I gave my notice. Some things are more important. Oh, so our mom is going to be our partner. Fantastic. Mother, do you mind making me something for dinner? Is this it? Presumption of the aforement aforementioned. Let's see if we can say that correctly. Believed to be dead. Owing to an absence of no less than three years. Wow, it's all so real. She's eating a lot of Chinese takeout, I'm guessing. I can't tell by those boxes. Mm. It's great you're here, but I'm fine, honestly. Mm. Actually, I got a new job. I'm overseeing the Sentinel Festival. Centennial Festival. One day I will learn how to speak correctly. Not today, but one day. You're doing what? Here in Moonglow? Huh. The mayor says it will be a huge boost for the community. Mm. And people need the support. The whole bay's been struggling for years. When the fishing trade collapsed, half the town closed down. If we can't attract new visitors soon, Moonglow Bay might never recover. Anyway, on to brighter things. It's time you open that present. Oh, is that the present he gave us? Oh, God. I don't know if I want to do this, Mom. I'm not ready. Uh. Hey, Mom, why'd you call the dog Waffles? Huh. Well, let me guess. Because of how much Taylor loved Waffles? Oh. But not as much as me. Remember, every Saturday, right after swimming, maple syrup, cinnamon, strawberries, glass of milk. Ah, those were the good times. Sorry, what were you saying? Mm -hmm. I wasn't. All right, so we got to find this present, and I don't know where it's located. I'm going to go back upstairs real quick and see if it's up here. I didn't see the present. Maybe the present's outside. I'm going to go on the other side of the bed if it'll let me. Nope, it won't let me. The pixelation stops there. Alright, so I don't see a present anywhere, Mom. I don't see it. Are we supposed to go outside? I can't see anything for all these containers. 
Oh, there's the present. A fishing journal. To my darling Betty, for the journey by your side. You've been holding on to this for three years. Mom, maybe it's time to write a new chapter. You're saying I should restart the business? Precisely. A new street food stall is exactly what this town needs. You would be an inspiration. We should head out right now, catch some ingredients. Okay, okay, but let me tidy first. If I'd known you were coming and ruin the surprise... Hey, okay, I'll be down on the beach. Sorry, I was, my phone keeps blowing up. Not my phone, my, my wristwatch. My smart device. The text messages have come through, and I had to read them. Okay, so we've got a caller from Quebec. Meet River at the beach. Tidy up the noodle packets. All right, so we, we've checked these two boxes. All right, let's go meet River at the beach. River is our mother. I'm assuming. Unless I completely misread that. And that's, that's potentially... All right, let's pet our doggy here, can we? Oh, nice. You're such a good dog, Lassie. Such a good dog. All right, do I need to go back out this door? Is this just a closet? How do I get rid of the trash? Oh, I'm supposed to be tidying up. I forgot about that. They're actually making us do it. It's just not fair. I thought I was supposed to be on vacation. Nice. Well, the house does look a whole lot better, I have to say. I like the little penguin on the top, by the way, too. All right, that's all picked up. Let's trash all this stuff. Okay, that's the last of it. The trash can's outside, since you clearly forgot, Fisher. All right, can we leave now? Nice. Home sweet home. Throw it in the trash can and wait for them to come pick it up on Tuesday. All right, so I'm going to follow the compass here. It looks like we need to go this way. If this compass is correct, I could be totally off. There's River. You were right. The streets are so empty. I barely noticed before. The town needs investment, pure and simple. But at least you have everything you need for your business. Your fishing rod, your kitchen, and a place to sell food. First things first, let me catch some ingredients. All right, we're going to do some fishing. Nice. All right. I don't know how many fish we have to catch, but I'm going to go for at least 10, if it'll let me. Probably not, but a man can dream. When reeling, you can use a quick burst of effort to haul the fish in a particular direction. This technique called striking, to strike, move left, right, up against the direction of the fish is swimming, then press LT. Just don't strike too often or you'll tire yourself out. Oh, nice. It does, it does take some, take some of the fishing effort away. He's going to get away. I can't move. She's tired. All right. I overdid it. I overdid it. If we could just get him in, we'd be in a way better place. You're close, buddy. You are so close. Oh, what is that? A new species. A ling? Ling? I don't know how you pronounce that. It's not very big. We can make some delicious crackers and cheese with it. Everyone will come from the neighborhood to eat it. Yeah, yeah, I know it's all... It's a, it's light on actual information. I'm an accountant, not a blooming marine biologist. Hey, I'm sure the aquarium can help fill in the details. Since we're here, let's recap water behavior and luring. When reeling a fish, it will behave in one of three ways depending on its species. Fast species will dart around quickly to wiggle free. Reflexes are key. Aggressive species will use a combination of speed and strength to escape. Finally, resilient species are slow moving but strong. It'll take several powerful strokes to haul one in. Fortunately, you can attract specific fish by using the lures. Give it a go. Select a lure and cast your line. Or how do we get to our... These are all catches. It's not letting me switch. Alright, can we change? Okay, here we go. So our lures here, the jig lure will attract aggressive and resilient fish. The spinner lure will attract fast and aggressive fish. Finally, the plunge lure will attract resilient and fast fish. Remember to check which lure you're using whenever you cast. Alright, let's do, I want to do a spinner. 
Balanced Rod. All right, let's try this new lure out and see just how well it works. Just jig it a little bit in the water. Got to get the fish's attention. This works in real life, so much not in this game. You've got to be completely still. No vibrations in the water and hope for the best. Here we go. It's coming. There we go. So this one's going to be like all over the place. So I got to be careful. All right, let's let him, let's let him think he's getting away. There we go. Oh, an orange, an ocean angel. I like that. Or is it angel? No, angle. Ocean angle. My eyeballs. That is a crazy looking fish. That looks like something off of uh, the Muppets. Remember the crazy orange guy with the crazy hair? He was friends with Beaker. I cannot think of his name to save my life. We're going to keep him though. Perfect. Finally a word on bait. All right, I want to do one more. Can I? It's not going to let me. Just, baiting your line is essential to catching larger species of fish. There are two types, low grade and high grade. If you cast with no bait, you will attract small species only. If you cast with low grade bait, you will attract small and medium species. Finally, if you cast with high grade bait, you will attract medium and large species. Try it now, select a lure and bait grade and cast your line again. Oh, well, this is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna stay with the spinner. Actually, let's change. Let's go to a plug lure. Yeah, let's do plug lure. And then let's do high bait. Oh, I don't have any. All right, we have this one, low bait. We'll just use this. All right, let's see if this actually does anything for us. I did not throw that out far enough. Hopefully, hopefully we still catch something. Oh my God, that thing was instant. You didn't stand a chance, did you? What's that fish's name? Nemo. I caught Nemo. Oh, Nemo, you're so silly. All right, get in my bag. Get in the bag. Excellent. Remember, there's a huge range of sea creatures out there, so mix up your lure, bait, and location to catch a variety. Just be aware that your bait is limited. Be careful you don't run out. Until the sea market reopens, high-grade bait is particularly is particular will be in short supply. Whoa, stop the press. Betty Fisher is out of the house before midday? Hey, Abby. You remember River? Of course. What brings you to our shabby little burrow? Wait, Betty, is that, you finally opened it? It's, it's a fishing journal. Taylor and I had a thing for these waters Yay. once. In fact, I, I'm reviving the business, selling street food straight from the ocean. Betty, you are gonna, <laughs> she's ecstatically happy. Nice, thanks, Abby. Sorry, sorry, but in three years, you never once struck me as an outdoorsy. Maybe it's time for a change. In that case, Captain Noodles, if you're gonna pedal Piscine Cuisine from the most cursed cove in Canada. I insist you learn how to cook. Follow me. Nice. Now she's going to teach us how to cook. We're learning everything right away. I hope I don't forget any of this. Okay, Betty. If you're selling street food, your kitchen is going to be your next, your new best friend. To create a meal, you need three things. Raw fish, the recipe, and enough shells to cover the cost of any extra ingredients. Collected recipes will appear in your journal. When you step into the kitchen, you can browse and choose which meals you want to make. All right, so I'm going to make this. This looks... Oh, wait a second. What is that? Battered fish and fried potatoes or chopped seafood fried with flour and egg. I'm going to go with this one. Oh, it won't let me. All right, what fish are we going to use? I'm going to use this one. All right, let's cook it. Your kitchen is always stocked with supplies, so the only ingredients you need to source are the fish. Okay, first go to the fridge and collect the necessary ingredients. All right, let's get these ingredients. <laughs> Now move to the different stations around the kitchen and follow the instructions one by one. And be precise. Mistakes will lower the quality of your meal and its sell value. Well, that's not good. Washing. Move up left and to the right to follow the marker and rinse the ingredients. All right, so this is just, I gotta stay inside the blue. Dirty trickster. All right, so now we gotta chop it. Oh. Chop it. Press when the marker is in each hit zone to chop. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That one's easy. All right, now we have to boil it. Oh. All right, move left, right to keep the water in the correct temperature. Why, wow, this is craziness. 
This is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Oh, nice. All right, we did it. Now we have to fry it. Hold then release when the marker reaches the hit zone. Oh, I just totally burned that, man. Totally burned it. All right, let's bake it. Press when the marker reaches the hit zone. Why didn't it let me do it? Great, there are other stations around the kitchen, but you'll figure them out. Well, I figured out one thing. I'm a horrible cook in this game. All right, I think we've, I think we've cooked enough. Finally, always remember to put your cooked meats out for sale. The storage box and front yard will have to do for now. All right, so I don't know if, all right, let's go put this out and see if we can actually sell it. That would be fantastic. All right, I guess we put it in here. <laughs> Perfect, here you can sell the fish you catch and the meals you cook. Fish and meals will sell gradually throughout the day and the shells you earn will be transferred direct to your account. Hmm, this old box isn't very appealing. You should upgrade to a proper machine. Harugato runs the tech shop. He'll give you a good idea. Speaking of new people, if you're exploring the waves, you'll need to re recover your trawler. Chat to Sarah at the boat shop. Finally, for information about fish species and filling out your journal, speak to Marina at the aquarium. Betty, you're really serious about this. No one's been out on these waters for three years since Taylor, I know. There are dozens, hundreds of strange and dangerous creatures out there. And we both know it's like to lose, like to lose someone. I'll be okay, trust me. So Sarah, Haru, and Marina, I'll see you soon. Nice, I don't know if we're actually gonna sell anything. But I'm definitely going to try. All right, I am going to head upstairs and see if I can actually save my game. I don't know about the lay down to save. Let's set the alarm for morning 6 a.m. Nice. She is out. Snoozing like a champ. All right, cool. The game has been saved. All right, family. Thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this little gem. If you want to see more uh, gameplay from this game, give me some likes. If I see a bunch of likes, I'll do another gameplay for this. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out. And quote the Raven, nevermore.